Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So let's talk about random walks. Now consider uh, a random walk which starts at time zero. That's at time zero. It starts at time zero, t equal to zero. And uh, it has jumps which are h or minus h equally likely. Equally likely. And let's say they are equally likely at times delta, 2 delta, 3 delta, 4 delta, 5 delta, till let's say n delta, n times delta. So what is going on basically, what does this mean is, let's try it here. So your time interval is partitions like delta, 2 delta, 3 delta, 4 delta, 5 delta, 6 delta, so on and so forth. This is your time axis. At time 0, let's assume that it is 0. At time 0, it is 0. And then at time delta, it can go either h units up or h units down. For the moment, let's let's assume that it has gone up h units. So this will go here, you know. And after this first, you know, delta, you know, at time two delta, it can either go up or can go h units down. So chances are, you know, equally likely. At first, it could go either up or it could go minus h down but we have assumed that let's say it has gone up then at 2 delta it will be either you know coming h units down from here or it will be coming up h units from here let's assume that it is going up h units so this will be somewhere like let's say here 2h then maybe it can go you know down you know h units at 3 delta maybe it can go down and at 4 delta maybe it again come down but it can go up as well let's say it can go up as well and at 5 delta it can go down and at 6 delta it can again go down h units and then at 7 delta maybe it again come down and then at 8 delta maybe it may go down so it's this is how you know random walk uh, you know looks like more precisely if we talk mathematically so let's let's say these uh, x n's are random variables 1 through n like x1 x2 x3 so on consider these random variables are the sequence of random variables which are which are in you know independent and identically distributed identically distributed so so these are basically you know the steps in the random box so you know at each step you know either it could go up or it go down with you know equal probability uh, but you know at delta and 2 delta and 3 delta at every step you know the random variable will be independent of the previous and the coming ones so like it's, it's you can say that this is you know the random box this process is representing the random box so this is you know you can say that it's a random box the pro the steps um, and further we assume that the probability that uh, xj will be going to h is same as xj going to minus h and this probability is let's say 50 percent so 50 percent chances it could go up or it could go down then we define a, a, a random variable y delta h of n delta to be x1 plus x2 plus x3 till xn or we can write down i to be 1 to n x of i so and indeed this is zero at time interval zero then the next question that are i'm not going into the depth more because it's not you know like i'm not treating it like a pure mathematical course so this 
process that we define this one over here has interesting properties what is that interesting property is one can show that this limit delta goes to zero of y delta and in place of h we have radical delta of t this process is Brownian motion and don't forget that this is coming out of the process that we defined previously so this is you know this is an example of Brownian motion so you can say that the random box random box are simplified models of Brownian motion. Let's carry out further in the next discussion.